Hello there, and welcome to my very hot and steamy workshop. It's 31 degrees outside. So today we're going to continue the theme of CNC machining. Now, if you've seen the last video, uh, I showed you how to set up a mini CNC milling machine and we cut this brass disc out which is 55 millimeters in diameter and it is 3.5 millimeters in thickness now about three or four videos back in Cavcon Maker Plus I put a 3D design together, or should I say I modified a relief to be carved in this brass. So today what we're going to do is go to the next stage and that is I've got a beautiful piece of mahogany and in Carvco Maker Plus, although all of the Carvco products will do this, we are going to do the tool paths to cut a pocket, a circular pocket or a recess to recess this disc into in the center and the next video we will actually carve that 3D design that I did three four videos back into this brass medallion. So I'm going to jump into Maker Plus and we'll do the tool packs. Okay so here we are in Kavco Maker Plus. So to start a new job, oh first of all when Kavco Maker Plus opens up initially uh, all your, it gives you a listing of your uh, jobs that you've been doing recently so we want to start a new job or a new model and this is set near to what we want so we're going to actually take this number down slightly so we're going to say um, 70 by 70 just a rough area really because we're going to make a pocket of 55 millimeter in diameter and 3.5 actually I'm probably going to make it about 3.4 millimeters deep but um, it really doesn't matter too much about the resolution but as you know I, I use it as a practice that I always keep it to maximum resolution because most of my work is in 3D as you can see and we're going to press oh, orientation center now I always find with a circular job or if a, you know it's a one-off pocket that you want to put onto a piece of work I always uh, make it the center of the object that you want to cut in this case a circle um, but you can, and I will show you in later videos, that uh, you know you can make the orientation of the work or the job uh, in the bottom right, uh, sorry, bottom left corner, which is normal for a CNC router. So this is a simple job that requires just one single circular pocket, and like I say a circular pocket really requires uh, to work from the center so we're going to say we're working in millimeters I'm going to say OK and Cavco Maker opens up now when this uh, has yellow material like this and the rulers are actually on the material that's indicating to me that this is in the 3D window well it's not really necessary to have this in the 3D window because it's not really a 3D object it's what's known as a 2.5D object so we'll go into the 2D window 
and it's I suppose a lot of people find this easier to work in so what we're going to do is go to the circle drawing tool left click come out here now so I'm here now in about the middle of the material so you can if you look at the rulers zero zero and if you notice Kavco has changed the cross to a has changed the cross to a target now Kavco has just snapped to the center of the material it's just an aid to assist you so we're going to left click and draw out and release and we're going to give it a parameter and we're going to say 55 millimeters and we don't have to do anything else this is indicating to us that or Kavco has actually set this circle in the middle of our piece of work or our job and we're in diameter mode and we just say create and we can cancel out of that now really our artwork or our CAD work is done so now we go to machine this pocket so you can go to two areas to go to tool paths you can either go here click on this or you can go up here on the top bar click on that come down to a 2 2d operation and it's an area clearance so we'll select that okay so this is what's commonly known as a wizard a wizard is any conversational then uh, anything that uh, you sort of have a to and fro uh, communication with your program or your computer uh, that assists the program to know exactly what you want it to do so the first part here is well selected vectors now there was Kavco's asking you well what part do you want this to cut this is a simple one there is only one vector or drawing there so selected vector because it's selected cutting depth now the start position is zero I always make the top of the work the zero point a lot of people make the bed the zero but uh, I find that you can make some mistakes doing that so we're gonna leave that as zero finishing depth is going to be I'm, I'm gonna say 3.4 millimeters I'm not worried about allowance we're just cutting into mahogany here uh, it, that really you know a couple of thousandths of an inch really doesn't matter although the tolerance is set automatically at this which is about one thousandth of an inch I believe so the next thing we're going to do is add a tool press on add or select a tool and the tooling list comes up so we're going to go straight for an end mill and a six millimeter which is just short of a uh, quarter of an inch and we are going to select it but now we have to alter the parameters to suit the job that we're doing because um, this is going to go down in one go now the step over in this case is okay it's fine it's going into wood if it's aluminium or brass uh, that would probably be a little much but that's okay step down well we're going to do this in layers uh, it probably would do it in one go but uh, we're going to do it in layers just to show you how you know sort of a pocket can be cut so I'm going to say um, 1.5 millimeters step down uh, feed rate now this is where a lot of people have problems then uh, when I get I often get asked about feed speed and feeds well this is the feed rate 
So I will tell you now whether you're using Mac 3, Mac 4 or a standalone offline controller like in this case I will be using what you can do in these uh, different programs is run them at a percentage of whatever you set here and a lot of it uh, a lot of the actual speed and feed is set up by sight and sound and uh, you know if, this, if it doesn't sound as though it's cutting right then you're uh, probably cutting too fast or you could be cutting too slow so you can actually speed it up or slow it down in those individual programs or indeed the offline controller now I'll show you how to do that as well and as as a practice I start off at 30% uh, of whatever I set here so what we're going to say is because I want a nice cut 20 millimeters is probably okay that's three quarters of an inch per second but we're going to be you know sort of um, I'm going to say 13 millimeters that's half an inch now I normally set the plunge rate at 50 percent of whatever I set the feed rate that's okay uh, spindle yep yeah, 15,000 is okay I have the ability to go to 20,000 but 15,000 is okay otherwise it might start to burn the material now for a circular pocket uh, I I don't normally use a raster to do a, po a circular pocket I use an, what they call an offset which is a circular motion I use climb milling and I and you can see Cavco has set up some of this uh, for me because it knows I think how I, how I work um, and I work from the inside out and it does give a better finish uh, not really interested in independent uh, finishing depth because we're going to go 3.4 millimeters final depth so this is going to do it in three cuts so it's going to take three millimeters out in two cuts and then go in and take the final 0.4 of a millimeter out so really we set up a finishing cut um, add ramp moves I always use ramp moves and 10 millimeter 10 mil oh, sorry 10 degrees 10 millimeter start height above the material 1 millimeter is fine safe Z 5 millimeter is fine now we're going to set up the material here and I can tell you it is 19 millimeters uh, in thickness and we're working at the top of the zeros at the top of the block 19 millimeters that's okay so now we're going to name it now I abbreviate everything so we're just going to say um, 35 millimeter and it's with a 6 millimeter you know as long as you can understand what it is that's okay so I'm going to say calculate and it's done and that's what the toolpath looks like so we're going to opt out of that we're going to go to the 3d window and we're going to now what I'm going to do now is I'm hovering over the material I'm going to hold the scroll wheel down and just roll it over so you'll be able to see this cut and we'll go here to pick up the simulation and we use it as standard simulation and we're going to say simulate and simulation bar comes up so we're going to say start so this is exactly what's going to happen whatever you see here this is what's going to happen in your material let's speed it up a little there we go so it's exactly what's going to happen just notice when the tool comes in it does a little dance in the middle that's it ramping down and one more and it's done okay so it's 
this is as though it was a piece of aluminium and uh, you know it looks a bit uh, it's difficult to see exactly what it is so um, what we're going to do is select a different material and I always find bronze is a good one to apply so bronze is a good material to actually see you know it gives you all the different facets then that's beautiful isn't it looks like almost like a bar of gold but of course if you wanted to you can uh, you I think mahogany is in here it is uh, vertical no it's not vertical actually we want it's horizontal there you go there's a piece of mahogany horizontal so that's pretty well what it's going to look like so now we're going to export the tool paths and if you what I just did is when I clicked on tool paths and then this sort of area pops up and the one we're after is this one here save tool paths so we're going to save the tool path so I just click on that this will come up la di da di da di la di da into and it's I just put my thunder drive in actually it's picked it up already it's that's correct now this what I would advise if you don't have um, a mainstream CNC router or mill uh, save it in a G code millimeter tap if you're using millimeters or G code inch tap if you're using I'll show you bring it up and you'll see them both here there's millimeter tap and there's inch tap um, that's standard basic G code and uh, all machines, all CNC machines, understand that. So we'll save that, and it's done. So now we'll go to the CNC router and machine this pocket.